Meteorologist Dave Morton here at CBS4. Just came in the 11 o'clock advisory here. Want to take a look and uh, show you what's happening. Wind speed is up to 150 miles an hour. The pressure pretty much holding steady at 945 millibars. Uh, still a category four and moving west at eight miles an hour. But here comes the newest track here. It continues to move west as a category four between uh, today and uh, tomorrow and early Monday morning. Now this forecast is to be over the Bahamas and forecast to make a north turn. Uh, so with a good bit of certainty, here's the latest track. Uh, that cone here is pretty much out of Broward County and up into West Palm Beach. Uh, so good, I, good, deals, a good deal of certainty in making that turn to the north. Still a concern that it might uh, impact the coast of Florida uh, just to the north. And if that uh, storm does get close enough, we will see wind increasing here. Monday night to early Tuesday. This will be a category four as it's turning to the north, but uh, pretty much the next 24 to 36 hours, we're watching the movement closely. If it does wobble a bit or move a little farther south or looks like it's staying on that westward course and uh, getting closer to the coast, uh, we will see a good bit of impacts here uh, along the coast, especially up to the north. But by Tuesday into Wednesday, it continues to move north and could impact the, the Carolinas and then moving off the coast. But there it is, the latest advice from the National Hurricane Center at 11 o'clock. Uh, the movement is to the west. Uh, now, it's been holding steady to the west. We're trying to see if it continues to move to the north here. Slowly drifting north. This uh, should continue here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and we'll keep a close eye on if it does look like it's uh, drifting to the south. But overall, it's just pretty much parallel to the coast of Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Uh, computer model forecast. Uh, these are holding together pretty good agreement that it uh, moves west, north, West over the Bahamas. But there it is, Sunday night. Uh, good agreement. It's turning to the north. Uh, now, if these do shift a bit farther to the west, well, then we could be looking at more significant impacts along the coast. Uh, but overall, the agreement is for it to slow down and turn north. And then by Tuesday, we're seeing the greatest impacts here. Wednesday, Thursday, it's moving off to the north and then the northeast. Uh, the likelihood of tropical storm force winds. Now, these will go right up against the coast here uh, overnight, tomorrow night, and early Monday. So we will see those winds increasing. Again, the better chance is around West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale and just north of Miami. Seeing how long we're set getting these winds, uh, it'll be right up against the coast a, a good bit of a time there throughout the day Monday. But by Tuesday morning, and Tuesday afternoon, they are lifting north with the storm. So category four moving towards the northwest Bahamas. That forecast track has slowed and shifted slightly to the north. It is done even more so with this latest advisory. You can pause preparations today, but keep a close eye on where that track could change in the next six hours. We have an update in, uh, at 2 o'clock, but the next track update will be uh, this afternoon at 5 o'clock. And you may still want to make those preparations tomorrow. You have another day uh, because it is moving so slowly here. So that is the latest track from the National Hurricane Center, and we will have continued updates here throughout the afternoon and evening.